Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Uh, it's about a little after, what is it? Almost 8 o'clock in the morning. I like to get up really early, you know. Um, I do this in, in the mornings when I get up with my kids at like 5, 5.30 in the morning for school through the week. But I also like to get up early and, you know, just get things done and, and move on with my day. So on this video, we're going to take a little cruise out of my office here. And uh, right over there is my corner of where I do all my work. But um, let's move outside here and take a little, have a little talk with you guys. Thought I'd do a video this morning and take you guys uptown. We'll take the Yukon, how's that? All right, and my wife wanted a vehicle to deliver her bakery stuff in, so <laughs> she got her wrist, man. This sucker's XL, extra long. So she got her wish. Okay, we got a little music going on, and uh, this thing's huge. Let me turn this music down. Having a little fun this morning, and um, we'll take a drive up to Starbucks. How's that? Let me turn off this music here. Hey guys, the theme of this video today is. Um, unrealistic expectations and having a positive mental attitude how's that that's huge in this day and hour you know um, and here's the deal a lot of people guys when they work from home or they um, you know they're scouring the internet um, first and foremost to make some money their whole outlook is wrong uh, because they're scouring the internet for their own selfish ambition because they want to make money. They want to make money. They want to make money. Okay, and I know we all need to make money. But the way to true wealth, okay guys, is not to get take, take, take. It's to give, give, give. And I've seen this over the years, guys. I've, you know, whenever I make money with whatever I'm doing, you know, every day I give at least 10% to my church. I do, you know. That's not that's bare minimum you know and um, so anyways today I want to talk about false expectations and having a positive mental attitude okay because guys 90% um, of it is probably your attitude you know um, a lot of people come into the industry they'll scour the internet looking for a way to make money or they'll look for a mail order program that they get through their mailbox they'll scour opportunity after opportunity everything they get in they think it's a scam because they've lost so much money you know floating around from program to program thinking it's got to be the program it's got to be the product service or opportunity or the leadership behind the company or um, you know something all right <clears throat> well I got news for you guys it has nothing to do with that it has everything to do with what you do with what you take and what you get in a lot of people have unrealistic expectations. They have a lottery mindset and they have a get rich quick mindset. They'll mail 200, 300 flyers. I'll get an email or a phone call out of the blue and they'll say, Mike, I mailed 200 flyers. What's wrong? You know, and <laughs> I'm like, um, well, you know, uh, people join on their time frame, you know, and people join when they're ready not when you say they need to get in. So a lot of people have this, they're so desperate for money type deal. They'll wait till, you know, they're in the hole financially to get online. And they're like, oh, I gotta find something to make some money. I gotta find something to make some money. And because they're so desperate for money and what they don't realize when it comes to a home-based business, a home-based business takes time and money to build. So they want to get in something as soon as possible to make a quick buck with the wrong mindset and they have unrealistic expectations that it's going to take time and it's going to take money to run a business. That's what running the business is about, time and money. The two things that people don't want to invest into to get something back okay they don't want to invest a lot of money they don't want to take a lot of time out of their schedule and a lot of people don't want to work and put in the effort they need to get the results that the successful people are getting so because they have unrealistic expectations because 
they think people are just going to join them without talking to pe talking to them, you know, um, texting them, emailing them, a phone call. Nah, people do business with people. You see, guys, it's not about an opportunity. What you guys need to realize is this: people join people. It's all about your attitude. You wonder why people join me right and left because you know I um, can give them the answers that they need. I can give them the answers why they need to partner with me. I have a track record to where if they ask me, well, Mike, how much did you make this this week for me to know if I want to partner with you? And I can turn around and tell them, gosh, I made $8,200 this week in one of my programs. Is that a good enough reason to partner with me? And they're like, wow, how do you do it? Well, this is how. Grab that application, fill out the bottom, let's get you rolling rocking and rolling, and I'll show you what I do on a consistent basis to have $1,000 days over and over again. So Bob, Joe, Mary Sue, grab that flyer you got in the mail, fill that sucker out, put her in the mail, and I look forward to working with you. And do me a favor and do yourself a favor, send me that tracking number so we can track your package, so we can always tell where, where it's at, okay? So see, I talk to people, that's how you talk to people. You gotta have a positive attitude, you got to have, you know, realistic expectations, you know, and realize, hey, it could take 30, 60, 90 days to make money. You start up a McDonald's franchise, guys, 60,000 out of the gate, you know, um, right off the start or 70 or 80 grand. I don't know what a franchise cost. We're not talking 60, 80 grand here, guys, um, <laughs> to start a home-based business. We're talking for a measly 150 bucks. You know, I can get someone started but you also gotta realize you gotta have money set aside, not only just to get in a business, you gotta have money set aside to market and advertise a business, especially direct mail, because direct mail is expensive. And when people call me and tell me, Mike, do I got any signups? You know, sometimes I'll turn around and email or text them and say, well, first and foremost, let me ask you this. How many flyers are you putting in the mail today? And they say, well, zero, I've mailed the 500 that you sent me in uh, the startup kit. And I can reply back and say, wonderful, great. So um, in between the time, you know, um, of those 500 people getting your flyer and joining, what are you gonna do to grow your business? And if they say, well, I don't have any more money to send out because I send it all out. I'm gonna say, well, um, you needed to have money set aside so you can uh, market and advertise consistently. A lot of people are get so gun-ho gun and excited about new opportunities coming down the pike because it's a new shiny object. Guys, I don't flinch about new shiny objects. You know, I might look at something, but chances of me jumping on it right away, you know, um, it's probably not gonna happen, you know? And um, a lot of people are just gullible. They'll look at something and think, eh, you know, I've tried them all, I might as well try this one. But they don't realize that their success is all based on them you know it's all based on what they do and the effort they put in you know and you're better off to just learn how to have the right mindset and put in the right um effort on a consistent basis and take baby steps and do a little bit at a time and you know um gosh it's a beautiful day here on a sunday <laughs> It's like probably 67, 65 degrees. I'm not used to that here in Indiana. It's probably been like 30, 40 degrees. I know down in Florida, you guys got all that beautiful weather, but I'm just happy for a nice, beautiful day this morning here in my hometown as I talk to you guys. And as we take a nice little trip up to Starbucks, I'm stopped at a red light here, and I'm just talking to you guys and having fun on this video. Okay, so unrealistic expectations. 30, 60, 90 days, most people fall by the wayside because they don't realize how much money and time they're gonna to have to put into their business for it to be successful. And it's the bottom line, you know? I get this all the time. Mike, what's the response rate? <laughs> but what's the response rate? I feel like telling them, you know what? I don't worry about response rate because you could get a 5% response rate in direct mail for any program you're pushing. But what good is the response rate if you send out a thousand flyers or postcard for any opportunity and you get a 5% response rate which is, what is that, five? Five people? No, I'm wrong. Five people, um, that's 50 people responding. What good is a 5% response rate, which is very good in the industry, by the way, if those 50 people don't join? 
See, it's not about response rate. It's about return on investment, ROI. You can have a 5% response rate, a 10% response rate. Uh, you can have 10%, 15%. Response rate means nothing, guys. Get that through your head. It don't mean anything, okay? What good is response rate if none of the people that responded join and make you money? It doesn't. Don't worry about response rate. And I get crazy questions. Mike, what's the best day of the week to mail? Mike, what color flyers or postcards do I use? I don't worry about that. Just put it in the mail <laughs> and just do it on a daily basis. If you have to start on a limited income of, and just mail 20, 30 mail pieces, whether you're doing postcard marketing, whether you're doing flyers, you just got to put it out and be consistent. That is the key. All right. So unrealistic expectations. All right. I'm excited about this program. Good. How many are you mailing on a consistent basis? That's the main thing. How much marketing and advertising are you putting out there? You know, when people say, oh, I tried it for 30, 60 days, I had one, one, you know, lady said, I'll try it. I felt like telling her, you don't try it, you commit to it and make it happen and work because you're investing your time and money into it. It's not about trying, it's about, you know, committing. That's a big difference. So it's all about having realistic expectations. It's all about having a positive attitude, especially you guys know the people here. I'm at this place right here. I'm going to surprise my wife with a coffee today. She likes that. I need to do that more often, actually. Um, actually, so I'm going to grab my kid here. My boys here, a, a cookie here at Starbucks. They like those and grab my wife a coffee. But listen, you guys got to have some realistic ex expectations you got to look long term you can't think get rich quick you know you can't think about being a millionaire overnight with this you know it took me five months to quit my job in corporate america in direct mail you think it's going to happen in a week guys come on if you guys aren't putting 20 30 postcards or flyers in the mail for a mail order don't think it's going to happen anytime soon mike has anybody responded has anybody you know called it doesn't matter if they call or not because you know why I can call and answer their questions, but that don't mean they're going to join in the next two weeks. It might be 30, 60, 90 days. I have that happen sometimes. I get flyers or postcards. I look at the, the date stamp on it, and it says three months ago, six months ago, whatever. See, it's all about consistency. It's all about having uh, realistic expectations. Mike, why haven't people joined yet? Well, I don't know. Why don't you call them up and ask them? Maybe their kid's in jail. Maybe they're bankrupt. Maybe they're getting 20, 30, 50 offers a week in the mail, and they have to sort out which one they want to go with. See, it's not just your offer coming through the mail. It's not just the fact that, you know, that person could be in the hospital and not even know that their mail is piling up on them. There could be a million reasons, guys, why they're not ready to join and invest today. And that's what you got to think about is having realistic expectations. Fill your mind with positivity. You know what I fill my mind with in the morning? Right here, guys. You want to see it? I fill my mind with this, the good book. I get in my Bible, I read in the morning, and I fill my mind with this stuff, the law of success. Napoleon Hill, and I read, and I read. That's what smart people do. That's what positive, rich people do is they read, and they're open to change. See, the reason why <laughs> the broke stay broke is they're not open to fill their mind with stuff like this on a regular basis. They stay broke because the broke people think they know it all, so they stay broke, okay? That's why they're not open to change. They're not open to uh, implement what rich people are doing. See, the rich people, you wonder why pe rich people take so much time out of their schedule to read? is because they have an open mind to change. That's why they're um, more open-minded to ideas. Anything they see that'll uh, give them opportunity to go up higher in life or in their financial cash flow. That's the deal, guys. So, hey, whoever thought the day would come when you just push a button to start a vehicle or turn it off? <laughs> You know, I'm going to go in here, guys. I hope you like the video. I'm just having a little fun today. And uh, shut this puppy up. And uh, there's my wife's toy. She likes this. And um, we're just going to go here in here in Starbucks. And uh, remember, guys, the video is about a having the right positive attitude and having positive, uh, realistic expectations. So go ahead and like the video, subscribe, pass it on. Uh, get in touch with me. Uh, Get your comments or questions addressed for you to make an educated decision. Man, guys, Turbo Pay Lines did over eight grand for me this week. I'm not bragging or boasting. 
I just want you guys know, to know the reality of what you guys can accomplish with this. It's an amazing activity. Um, we're going to see you guys on the next video. Have a happy Sunday. God bless as you go off to church today and uh, spend time with your family. And bye for now.